Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and it is our first prayer time of the day. And today, we're going to be praying for our young people. Now, it's very important that we pray. So, Lord, we recognize today that there is an assault on our kids. The enemy is going after them. And we know the reason why. Lord, thank you that just a couple of days ago, I was sitting and having a prayer time, and I realized the reason why the enemy is going after our kids. There's a wonderful promise contained in Joel 2.28 that says, In the last days you will pour out your spirit upon all flesh. Now, it's interesting that part of that prophecy says that you'll pour out your spirit upon our sons and our daughters. Our old men will see vision, our young men will see dreams, and of course, the Spirit of God will come upon the handmaids. Now, it's interesting that that wonderful promise is also mostly to young people. And we do know that around the world, in two countries where Christianity is prohibited, young people are leading the way when it comes to salvation. We also are aware of the fact that 80% of all those who come to know the Lord come to the Lord under the age of 18. So that's why the enemy today is attacking young people. He's trying to brainwash them. He's trying to groom them. He's trying to influence them. He's trying to indoctrinate them. But we're not going to let that happen. Today, in the name of Jesus, Lord, whether it is in the church world or the educational area, the social media area, whether it is in the cultural or societal, political, economic, Lord, wherever the attack is coming, we absolutely refuse to allow the enemy to continue to attack our kids. It's just not going to happen. We're raising a spiritual uh, revolution against the enemy right now. We're saying, not anymore. This is over. Today, we're taking back our kids. Today, we are covering our kids with prayer. We're not going to allow them to fall victim to the enemy anymore. Not without a spiritual fight. Lord, I'm grateful. The Bible says, when the enemy comes in like a flood, you raise up a standard against him. That is, of course, the children of God. Lord, today, in the name of Jesus, we are doing a James 4, 7. We are resisting the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. We are doing a spiritual Muhammad Ali. We're floating like a butterfly. We're stinging like a bee. And we're saying, not my kids. Today, Lord, we're building a hedge of protection around our kids. Now, we know your name. You've made us a habitation. You set your love on us like it tells us in Psalm 91. So, Lord, today, whether it's in the church world or in schools, Father, today we are coming against the agenda of educators, those social reconstructionists that are making our kids guinea pigs. Today, in the name of Jesus, there is going to be a pushback. I remember when my, uh, the, the account of my wife, she was a wonderful uh, fighter against social reconstructionists. When she was a teenager, or even as a young person, Lord, she came to know you. And when, uh, when teachers, even back in the 60s and 70s, were trying to push their agenda, she would stand up against them and debate them. We need kids like that today. Kids who know their God and are going to do exploits. We need young people to challenge professors and high school teachers and also as well um, in seminaries and also as well, Lord, um, and we know it's going to be a battle. We know that beyond a shadow of doubt, but we need to have young people that know their God. That's the promise that we're praying for today. That Daniel 11.32 mentality. That Esther 4.14 reality. Lord, in Daniel 11.32, I've already said it, they shall know their God, they shall be strong, and they shall do exploits. We're praying for those type of children. We're raising and praying for Esther-type people 
who understand that they were born for a time such as this. We need to have people like Jesus who only wanted to do the will of his father and he, and he went again often against social pressures. Lord, we know that there are tremendous pressures upon our kids, but we're not going to allow that to have our job as parents and grandparents, as siblings. Father, we're praying for them. We're standing with them. We're telling them today, we are with you. Maybe we aren't physically in those classrooms. Maybe we aren't physically uh, on social media with you, but we are standing with you. Wherever the pressure is coming from, we're standing with you. And we're praying for you right now. We are asking the Lord, to give you the supernatural wisdom and strength and discernment that you need to be able to counteract the evil onslaught that's coming on right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, if we have the opportunity to actually pray over them, Lord, I, each and every one of my grandchildren and my children prayed over them that God would protect them from the evil of this world. Because I know this, that Lord, the evil of this world is more afraid of us than we should ever be of the evil of this world or of this day. Because Lord, they that know their God, those that really have a relationship with God, number one, we're gonna be strong. Number two, we're gonna do exploits. Lord, that's what I'm praying for today. That's what I'm standing in right now towards our kids. We're not going to let this happen, not without a fight. So Lord, today, whether our kids are in school, we're talking elementary school, we're talking as well kindergarten, we're talking, Lord, today, middle school or junior high, senior high, whether they are in colleges or universities, seminaries or Bible colleges or trade schools, whatever educational institution that they're with. Lord, I pray today that you'll be with them. And I thank you for this opportunity. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Well, if you like what I've been doing, then I encourage you to press the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have yourself a great and godly day.